Can you walk on a star? Recently I made a video about falling into a neutron star. So before that I had to calculate whether it's possible to stand or walk on the surface of a star. So turns out you can do it on the surface of a neutron star. It is improbable, but theoretically not impossible. When a star larger and more massive than our sun runs out of fuel at the end of its life, its core collapses while the outer layers are blown off in a supernova explosion. What's left behind depends on the mass of the original star. So if it's roughly 7 to 19 times the mass of our sun, we are left with a neutron star. A neutron star can be thought of as a single humongous atomic nucleus, containing roughly 10 to the 57th power neutrons, packed into a sphere 4 to 20 kilometers in radius, becoming the densest material we can directly observe that we know of. To get an idea of how dense they are, one sugar cube of neutron star would weigh about 1 trillion kilograms or 1 billion tons on Earth, about as much as a mountain. But neutron stars have other amazing properties. They are rapidly rotating, up to 1000 rotations per second, compared to one rotation per month for the Sun. They are strongly magnetized, up to 1 trillion gauss compared to an average of 1 gauss for the Sun and 0.5 gauss for the Earth. They are very hot initially 1 million Kelvin at the surface, compared to 5800 Kelvin for the Sun. The surface of a neutron star is not any place you would want to visit. The gravitational acceleration is 100 billion g's, that is 100 billion times the acceleration at the Earth's surface. The escape speed at the surface of a neutron star is half the speed of light. 150,000 km per second versus 11 km per second for the Earth. On the surface of a neutron star you'd be simultaneously vaporized by the intense heat and squashed flat by the intense gravitational force. The environment near a neutron star does not allow for the chemistry of life to exist. Regardless of shielding, there can be no stable molecules on or near its surface and no macroscopic structures can exist in close proximity. Tidal forces, magnetic fields and radiation are many orders of magnitude beyond anything we could hope to shield against. But if somehow we find a way to counter the neutron star's extreme forces and use an indestructible spacesuit, we could, in theory, walk on the surface of a neutron star. Let's imagine for a moment that we had technology far beyond what we currently possess. A spacesuit capable of withstanding extreme gravity, temperatures, magnetism and radiation. In that case, walking on a neutron star would still be one of the most bizarre and alien experiences possible. First, gravity. On a neutron star, gravity is so intense that if you were just one centimeter above the surface, you would feel a downward force about 10 billion times stronger than Earth's gravity. Your feet would experience slightly more gravity than your head. This difference would normally tear a human body apart in a process called spaghettification. But with our hypothetical suit negating this effect, you could stand without being flattened into atomic paste you'd weigh over 10 million tons, so you'd be pinned like a thumbtack to the crust, unless your suit also provided some kind of anti-gravity or internal support system. Second, the surface itself. Neutron stars have a thin crust, just a few hundred meters thick, composed of tightly packed atomic nuclei, forming a ultra-hard, crystalline lattice of a neutron-rich matter. It's so dense and rigid that if you struck it, the vibrations would propagate faster than the speed of sound in any normal material. So at least you don't have to worry about sinking in the ground, so to speak, 
is solid beyond anything we experience here. The surface wouldn't be rocky or molten like Earth or the Sun. It would feel like walking on a metal floor made of solid atomic matter. Next, temperature. The surface of a young neutron star can reach over 1 million Kelvin. It would incinerate anything conventional instantly. Your suit would need flawless thermal shielding, capable of absorbing or deflecting this heat without breaking down at the molecular level. Even more challenging would be maintaining internal life support systems while keeping the external layers of the suit from vaporizing. Then there is magnetism. Some neutron stars, called magnetars, have magnetic fields up to a quadrillion times stronger than Earth's. These fields are so powerful that they can distort electron orbitals in atoms and pull objects apart at the atomic level. Your suit would need advanced electromagnetic shielding and active stabilization systems to keep your molecules intact and prevent your electronics from being ripped apart by quantum level forces. Radiation would also be a critical threat. Neutron stars emit intense X-rays and gamma rays, making them some of the most radioactive objects in the universe. Without shielding better than anything currently imaginable, you'd be fried in nanoseconds. Your suit would need radiation shielding many times stronger than what's used in nuclear reactors or spacecrafts today. In addition, walking itself would be strange. With such intense gravity, you wouldn't walk so much as shift weight slightly to move. Each step would require immense force just to lift a leg, and unless your suit somehow neutralized your effective mass, you'd hardly be able to move at all. To lift a 100 kilogram object by one meter on the surface of a neutron star requires about 100 trillion joules of energy. You might instead crawl using micro-movements or rely on a propulsion system that lets you hover slightly above the surface. In the end, you could physically stand and take steps on the surface of a neutron star. It would be a surreal landscape of ultra-dense matter under an eerie sky. You would probably see a mirror-smooth surface. It may also be very shiny, a near-perfect reflector, and depending on where you look, you might just be able to see some general relativistic effects with the naked eye, such as a noticeable brightening and blue shift of stars and a horizon that may appear to curve unnaturally, warped by gravitational lensing. Should you drop something, even a tiny object, it would effectively instantaneously reach the ground even a grain of sand would release the energy of a nuclear bomb upon impact, as it would accelerate to maybe 1% of the speed of light. In short, with futuristic engineering that can overcome all of these forces – gravity, temperature, radiation, magnetism and structural stress – you can, theoretically, walk on the surface of a neutron star. But until such technology exists, Walking on a neutron star remains purely theoretical and perhaps one of the most extreme what-ifs in astrophysics. So, if you want to experience all of that, please watch this video. For now, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share your thoughts down below.